Three, six, nine, twelve. Twelve bales. So these are our twelve bales so far. I think he was bringing eighteen, but I could be wrong. So these are the bales that we ordered. I don't know, I guess it's called ordering, I don't know. Last year we literally brought two bales from the farm each time we needed them. So like once a week we'd go and pick up bales. This year we had them delivered. So here he comes with a couple of our bales that came off the field pasture that we rent. He's going to come put them up here for us too. So, as I was saying, he just put two bells. These, these two bells came off our trailer. You saw that in a different video where we brought the bales from the pasture we rented, or land we rented. Um, these ones come from the guy that we buy hay off of, a little bit off, um, a few roads over from us and we bought his hay all last year and this year we said would we possibly just be able to get it all brought or at least a majority of it brought here this hay good chance probably won't do us for the full winter that is 18 bales there and then we have like we'll have the three bales in front that we brought home and then we'll be bringing home three more bales off the field. So here he comes with the next one. The trees, the trees. So in total, if you can hear me over the tractor, in total we'll have 30 bales to start this season. And we'll go from there. Last year we went through around two bales a week, just under two bales a week. Obviously we have our three heifers held back this year, so we're, look, we're definitely gonna go through two bales plus. Um, and it will just depend on when we have to start feeding bales. We have a great stockpile because the cows haven't been here all year. Back here is all still well over grown stuff. Except for this general paddock that the pigs have been in. We let the pigs run in this. Whoops, let's back out now. He's running this paddock here uh, because it was already quite covered by last year's winter pack. So... Um, if anything, they're just stirring it up and getting rid of it. And like that pile, if you've seen our original videos, that pile was huge, and having the pigs access to it all summer long has almost leveled it out. We'll be able to pull more stuff out of that hill this fall before the snow hits, hopefully, and get it even more cleaned up. And then our goal is to move this fence here straight down and we'll keep this paddock as a paddock to separate. Um, we'll be fencing around these bales and only feeding off bales. And then I'm not really sure what our plan is as we've ran a few different plans now for this area. This was all fenced in, but our landlord was doing projects and was not exactly good to our fencing, so we took our fencing down to protect it. And now we're 
contemplating whether we're going to have to fence, whether, how we're going to go about fencing this back in. You can see where some of our fence line is still here because we did have this fenced off um, during the summer and the pigs had access to this part too but they definitely didn't do as good a job tearing up the excess bale stuff in this part. We put this old trampoline here as like a shade for them hoping that that would encourage them to come over here on the hot days and be shaded because it was really nice and shady under there but they still didn't rip up much here so we'll probably we might just set up a fence around here and see if the chickens and other poultry animals will dig this up and flip it over for us since the pigs didn't flip it over as well as I'd like. Thanks for watching the video about the hay being delivered. The heifers are getting so big and I can't wait to see if we keep them all till breeding season next year. Like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell to find out.